Ethan Hunt also has never had a movie that is called Octopussy. Let's just go ahead and live with that. What's up guys and welcome to None of This Really Matters where we should be doing our homework but we're clearly not. I'm Ryan. I'm Jacob. And today we're gonna be doing our verses where we take two people that we think would be a good matchup and see who would win in a fight. Correct. Today we are going with super spy mode. On the one side we have British power, James Bond 007, agent of MI6 versus the American hero, Ethan Hunt of the IMF. And if people don't know who he is, that is from Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible series, that's Tom Cruise. Cruise, and it's going to be against James Bond, who is the James Bond now, which is Daniel Craig. I think this is a pretty good matchup. Oh, definitely. These two guys definitely own the market when it comes to spy movies. Action-packed all the way. Now, there, how many movies are there of Mission Impossible? There know? are five currently, and there is one in the making for the summer. That's right. Fallout is coming out. I'm super pumped for that Absolutely. movie. Absolutely. Super excited. And Daniel Craig has actually announced that he's going to continue making two more James Bond James movies. Bond. Two more James Bond. So, Daniel Craig versus Ethan Hunt, Tom Cruise. Who's going to win? Now, I've made a lot of thought about this and I really think that James Bond is gonna win it and I have watched all the Mission Impossible movies multiple times and I guarantee Ethan Hunt would win all right so let's break it down one minute apiece James Bond in one corner Ethan Hunt in another let's ring that bell so James Bond just gotta say right off the bat he's got all the gadgets he's got all the women who are gonna fight for him they love him They're, they would give his life for him in fact it's happened many times before James Bond has been all around the world and made so many contacts if he's in a jam, he can just call up somebody on his shoe phone or whatever it is and be like, dude, I need your help. Get on over here. He's tight with the CIA. He's tight with the KGB. He's tight with MI6 every now and then when Ethan Hunt can't even stay in his own organization. So not only that, we've seen, especially from the movie Skyfall, he can take a lot of damage. He's gotten his butt kicked big time, but he keeps rolling with the punches. Not only that, he's lost many friends. He's totally fine with like causing way more chaos and damage. He takes over planes, he takes over automobiles, tanks, you name it. All right, put that minute on the clock for us, and here we go. Ethan Hunt would win in a fight because it's been time and time again that he has operated outside of his own organization. He's been kicked out, he's been disavowed, no cool gadgets, and he can still save the day. No matter what, he's a super spy. Imagine if he was a bad guy, how much havoc he could raise but he is a good guy he continuously acts for the better good he has always got the team with him he doesn't need all these contacts though he has them he is so smart he outwits every government out there who's trying to get him not just his own but internationally he gets all of these super pretty women on his team and I'm pretty sure they have more than just a friendship also James Bond his women typically stab him in the back though they may save the day for him they still make it so much harder for him Ethan Hunt doesn't have to worry about that because he gets it done in one movie. James Bond movies, there's about 27. There's only five for Mission Impossible. He can do it in less amount of time. All right, so with all of that being said, we're gonna put 30 seconds on the clock and we're going to break it down one more time for a rebuttal. I've heard what you said, you've heard what I've said. Now let's hash it out again. Okay. One, two, three. Hit it. James Bond, let's just say, yeah, he, at times, he can be kind of pansy with the Roger Moore act and with, with the octopusy and, and every now and then. But let's see, 20 movies, 24 movies, he's still got it. And he, not only does he have the coolest gadgets, but he knows all the martial arts. He knows every single one of them. And that's true. That's fact, by the way. <laughs> And 
I think he honestly can just wail on Ethan Hunt with any punch. You're done. 30 seconds on the clock, go. Ethan Hunt can get the crap kicked out of him. He can take punch after punch, and he still goes on. Though James Bond may know all of this type of martial arts, Ethan Hunt actually uses them. He takes so many hits. He can drive so fast with motorcycles. He hangs on the edges of planes. He goes into all sorts of berserker rages, and he just goes time and time again. Not to mention, Ethan Hunt is insanely smart. So smart that they barely let him in the country anymore. All right, so third round, this is it. This is for all the marbles, Ethan Hunt and James Bond. We're gonna break it down in this third round, 15 seconds apiece. Camera guy, roll it, ring that bell. So, Ethan Hunt, he's always jumping off of things, he's always getting hurt, he's always doing all of his own stunts, James Bond don't have to do that because James Bond has the mind to not put himself into those situations. He has the gadgets, he has the mind, and he has the women. 15 seconds on the clock, please, and three, two, one. Ethan Hunt, you notice how he's been in five movies, they've never had to change Ethan Hunt characters. James Bond, there's been like six of them. Ethan Hunt also has never had a movie that is called Octopussy. Let's just go ahead and live with that. All right, that was a tough matchup. It was a fight to the finish. Blood, sweat, and a little bit of tears came out. I'm pretty sure of it, but it's up to you guys. We wanna hear what you think. Who would win in a fight, James Bond or Ethan Hunt? We all know who we picked, but let's hear it from you. Now, deciding factor, camera guy, what do you think? Yeah, but my heart is sorry, it's Ethan Hunt. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, it's Ethan Hunt. I don't. Yeah. I, I think. Just like in the olden days, America beats Britain in the Revolutionary War. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in here at On None of This Really Matters, where we take stuff that we don't normally need in life and we make it our life. Thanks so much. Tune in for next time on Versus, as well as more cool Nerdy Blurb content. Until next time, be yourself. Take care. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Oh, shit. Oh.